So hi everybody, today I have this multiple camera setup where I am using my Action Pro and uh, there's an iPhone on this side, you can see here, this is the iPhone and then there is my other Sony camera. The idea is to understand how we use three different cameras and then take this through Premiere Pro and how can we edit it because the audio, the mic that I'm using here right now is connected to my camera here and uh, the rest of the audio is just from their own camera mics. So now what we'll do is we'll take this footage to uh, Premiere Pro and then we'll see how this works. Okay, now the footages are on the computer now. Everything has been transferred. Now here what we are doing is the basic rule of opening the Premiere Pro is as, as how we know everything, right? So we don't really have to worry about that. We open Premiere Pro and get onto the timeline. And what we'll do is we'll just drag and drop all the three footages. And all I'm going to do is now just check if which one is what footage. So the first footage is from the main camera and then the second footage is from the Action 2. That is why it looks a little smaller in resolution. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the dimension of it so that it fits the screen. And then the next thing I'll do is uh, now I'll start coloring them so that I can identify which one is what just for my visual satisfaction. So here it is, I've marked them as red and I've marked them as green. And now the next step that I'm going to do is I'll put them in different layers. The audio and the video files, I'll put them in different layers and then I'm going to bring them on top of each other without letting any footage overlap the other. And then once everything is in order all on top of each other, I will select all, right click and say synchronize and use this audio track channel and just say, okay, boom. Now you see that this has now, all of them have aligned according to the audio. So that is a great advantage where it saves a lot of time for all of us to do multi-track, uh, multi-camera shots. So now that we've managed to do this, the next thing what we need to do is uh, figure out which one is the main audio. And then the first option is to either mute them or I will suggest the other option is to select all the footages and unlink them and then delete the two audios which is not required. So this is how I've done it here. And once again, I'm going to select all and then link once again. Now we have to understand one thing. Uh, why do we need to link here is so that all the three footages are aligned while we are chopping off and doing the first step of editing. What is the first step of editing is chopping off all the fluffs and the gaps and the ers and the ums on the, uh, on the audio. So that is why we need to have all of them together. Otherwise we'll keep, we'll, we'll waste a lot of time in chopping all each layer separately. So when we link all the three together with the audio, it gets very easy. So now the next step is to select all and then unlink everything because all of these pieces are going to be independent entities. And why do we need that? Because we need to now start deleting some of the layers which is on top to show the bottom camera angle. And to do that, we'll just manually start deleting one by one as and when wherever, whatever camera angle is relevant to show. And it goes like this. I hope this video was useful and if you found it useful, do like the video and uh, share with your friends. It might be useful for all of you.